Should we check on him? Nah, he'd probably rather not be seen this way. <laughs> Nobody look at the crying man. <laughs> Quick, dudes, hide like an ostrich. <laughs> We don't really do that. That's a lot of crying. We really should ask him what's wrong. The downside of that is he might tell us. Let's just accept he's a broken man and move on. Since Chef is a sobbing mess today, I'll be reading the story. When John got to the Tomakina Plaza for his wife's office Christmas party, everything seemed fine. But... Ah! You want to hear a story? Here's a story. A painful story about a young boy. Let's call him Shag. Shag's mother always took little Shag out for quiche at a lovely family-owned restaurant called Pugs and Quiches. What's a quiche? It's a fancy French pastry crust filled with savory ingredients and held together by fluffy baked eggs. So, like, a scrambled egg pie? Exactly. But they call it quiche so they can charge more money for it. Anyway, back to my story. Hugs and quiches was Shag's favorite place to go. But now an evil quiche company wants to build their big stupid quichatorium right on top of that little restaurant. And it'll crush all of Shag's wonderful childhood memories. How can they do that to Shag? Little Shag dude deserves better. Is Shag gonna be okay? Won't somebody check on Chug? Stop! It's me! I'm Shag! <gasps> We've been calling you the wrong name for three seasons? What? No! I called myself Shag because I was afraid to reveal my vulnerability. Losing hugs and quiches is too painful. <laughs> well, that was an overreaction. No, it wasn't. Can't you see chefs hurting inside? Like the time I accidentally swallowed a porcupine and got banned from the petting zoo. That class trip was wild! We need to do whatever it takes to save hugs and quiches! Yeah! Eh, okay. Sure. Saving a quiche restaurant doesn't sound very exciting. Because it isn't. But it's super important. Not at all. But it'll get us through what would otherwise be yet another horrifically boring day. That's the spirit, Noah. Save hot and quiches! Help us stop the evil quichotorium! Sign our petition to support hugs and quiches! I'm helping! Way to go, Cody! Oh, that stop sign really works. Welcome to the first annual, probably one time only, Save Hugs and Quiches Telethon. Oh no, our operator is standing by. If we get enough calls of support, he'll stop dancing. Oh, a big corporation's coming to crush him and that's why we gotta save, save the quiche. Stand up for the little guy, protect local businesses and save, save the quiche. quiche. Just an egg pie. But it's all I eat in Paris, so Save the quiche Hugs and quiches Quiche ham bone solo That's Save the Quiche Performed by tiny humans trying to save a mom and pop quiche shop Whether they do it or not I'm going to eat this microphone <laughs> Noah wants to do one more thing the quickest way to get people to side with hugs and quiches is to turn them against quichatorium. So we're shooting something called an attack ad. Action! Owen, say the line. Huh? Oh, this ad about quichatorium is real and not made up by kids at a daycare. Rearrange the letters at quichatorium? What's it spell? That's right, vomit, baby! But they got deep pockets and deep media from reporting that. This Christmas, kids can ask me for anything, but all they'll get is a quichatorium quiche. Ho, 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 ho. Quichatoria wants you to believe quiche is round, but we all know quiche is flat. Trust
Pasteurize, not your eggs. The last thing he ever said was, does this quicheatorium quiche taste funny to you? I shouldn't even be talking to you. The quicheatorium is listening. They're always listening. <laughs> okay, chef, this is the last shot of our ad. All you have to do is take a bite of quicheatorium quiche, spit it out, and say how bad it is. No problem. I've never tried their quiche and I already hate it. Good stuff, and action! Quichatorium rules! How oh, ew! Mm, so much. It's just the worst. No. Um, you uh, don't have to eat them all. Gotta make sure there's none left so no innocent child accidentally eats this. Oh, so, mm, bad. I'll go throw these away. I'll, uh, use the trash can in my office. Oh, quichatorium is way better than hugs and quiches. I need to stop Owen from saving hugs and quiches. You know, kids, life ain't fair. The little guy never wins. So, good effort, but let's all work together to give up. Give up? But, Chef, we're winning. Our petition has over one signatures. Whoa, really? Let me see that. What? Oh, what, 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 darn, it's in the wood chipper. <laughs> Let me get it out with this phone. The attack ad was on there. Unfortunate. That's what that is. Now giving up is our only option. Shucks. Well, there's something on my floor I need to eat. Uh, I mean, take care of. Oh, poor chef. He's really taking this hard. <laughs> Chef, how you holding up? <gasps> He's eating quicheatorium quiche! And liking it? I know what's going on here. The quicheatorium is brainwashing people with their quiche! It's the only way Chef would ever turn his back on hugs and quiches! Oh no, and I made him eat those evil quiches! What was I thinking? Fear not, Chef! We will avenge you! Don't try too hard! Okay, let's find the kitchen to see what Kishatorium puts in their evil quiches to brainwash people. Aha! Caught ya! That's the evil brainwash sauce you put into every quiche to control people's minds, isn't it? Oh, heavens, no. This is a special ingredient called joy milk. See, we only milk our cows on Valentine's Day, the most love-filled day of the year. That's why you taste love in every bite of a quicheatorium quiche. Aw, that's not evil at all. We should go right to the top. Yes, that's where evil always comes from. It's Tinkle Down Evilnomics. Follow me. If there's evil to be found, it'll be here in the quicheatorium CEO's office. Ah! He even looks evil! Oh, my. Sorry. I was just about to speak my daily affirmations into my flashlight recorder. Every seed you plant is a wish that might come true. That is so sweet. Okay, well, how'd you get that scar on your face? I got this by smiling so hard at a baby kitten, I tore my face. Dude, that's the opposite of evil. What about your plan to attack the world with quiche missiles? That is our new Quichatorium Without Borders program. We're sending free quiches all over the world to feed the tragically quicheless. So there's nothing evil about Quichatorium? Um, of course not. This company will never, ever do anything evil. Oh, yeah? Well, let me tell you the story of a little boy named Chegg. Chegg and his mommy ate quiche every day. And Chegg was never happy again. I vowed if I ever hurt a single person, I would leave this planet. And clearly, I have hurt someone. Ten. Nine. What is happening seven, right now? Six. Five. You can't four, shut go. Three. Two. Ah! Last day. Well, that ended super... Weird. We served hugs and quiches for Chef! Yay! Hey, where's Cody? Take me home! Da, 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 da. So you'll never have to worry about the quichatorium ever again. No quichatorium quiche ever 
Again? Nope. And we stopped by hugs and quiches on our way back to school. <laughs> He's so happy. Those are tears of joy, right? Yeah. <laughs>